Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. I did not forget to do my video reaction on the other game I said I was going to do for the Wild and Duck. This is it right here as I'm Sports Fanatic News, Joe Boric. Please like, comment, and subscribe and hit the bell. It really helps, and we really appreciate it. So let's get right into the Wild and Ducks game again. Apologize, it was technical difficulties where the mic sounded all wonky last night when I did the video. So it was really late at that time, East Coast. So I decided to do it today and then had other stuff come up I had to get done first. But we had a very good game last night. The Ducks were able to battle with the Wild, but the Wild are the superior team, obviously. Uh, they have actually started out this season uh, very impressive. Um, they have been one of the more impressive teams in the National Hockey League thus far to start the season, uh, starting the season now a uh, 3-1 and one themselves. And Cam Talbot has had a very nice start with a 926 save percentage and a 2-1 and one record already uh, to the season. So coming with that quick signing for him seems to have bolstered a lot of confidence in Talbot and really has put him in a good uh, mindset there in Minnesota. And I love Cam Talbot as a goaltender. He got taxed a lot uh, in Edmonton early because of their goaltending woes. He had to get overused, and they overused him, and that affected his career, where now it's nice to see him, if he can keep putting it together, putting it together very well um, in Minnesota out there. <clears throat> and then you had Ryan Hartman, who's another player I like, a former guy here with the Flyers. Um, he's a guy that was able to pot a rebound that Ryan Miller left out, but that was a tough play. I don't think the 40-year-old goaltender in Miller, who was a great goalie, obviously, with the Buffalo Sabres for many years, at times looked like he was on a, a clear Hall of Fame track, and then uh, not so sure about that now, but it definitely at time looked like he was on that. Um Hartman was able to pot one in on the rebound. And then the former Duck, Nick Bonino, was able to slot one uh, through the five hole, which is definitely a goal that I think Miller will want back there. But good for Nick Bonino to be able to pot one against his former team and get one done there. So that was nice to see from Nicky Bonino being able to have a big game against his former team. It wasn't nice for the Ducks, but it was obviously nice to see for the Wild, who brought him in this offseason and to get a key contribution against his former club uh, for him. And then you got De Delorier, who all of a sudden now is scoring in the last couple games. Obviously, that's not going to last. But it's just funny that he's been able to score and then almost had another one, Nick Delorier, when the one puck hit off of the post uh, behind Kokkinen uh, in the game. So uh, I think Kokkinen also, Kapo Kokkinen, he's a goalie that I think is going to be pretty darn good in the league given time. Uh, he just really needs to fix that glove side. Um, they talked about it in the broadcast. He he really obviously just needs to get the glove side down because he missed the one puck, which is the only reason why um, <clears throat> a guy like Delorier was able to score because he dropped the puck out of his glove on the ninth shot of the game. And then Delorier was able to score. And then Carter Rowney had a nice assist to Fowler later on. In only the 11th shot of the game, that Fowler was able to slam at home. But Kopo Kakanen, I think he's going to be fine, personally. He's a big guy. He's a guy that seems to really be sound otherwise, other than with that glove hand. And once he gets that down, it seems like that's going to be the Hallelujah moment for Kapo Kakanen. And I think he's really going to emerge and become one of the better young developing goaltenders. And I think having a veteran that's been around the block, like Cam Talbot, is absolutely perfect, along with a guy like Staylock, obviously, who's a good puck-moving goaltender, been a journeyman himself, has fought for everything. Having guys with those fight-for-everything mentality with someone like a young goaltender like Cockin in there, then you have Hunter Jones, of course, coming up the pipe, uh, is very, 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 very smart. And it did deserve that many varies, because that is very smart by the wild to bring guys in like that and I have to applaud them for that obviously the wild were able to complete this game with a win because Erickson Eck was able to get a goal that he was able to put in from the slot uh, he's a player that the wild are obviously looking for a lot from this year they've instilled a lot of confidence in him after they got rid of Jordan Stahl and knowing Johansson is more of a winger that instilled much confidence I would assume in Erickson Eck saying that you're going to be pretty much one of our top dudes you're going to have to take that role over and so far, so good this year. The kid's been impressive, and it's nice to see because the Wild obviously have another center in Marco Rossi uh, coming up below him. So now you're going to have him and Erickson Eck 
and then others as well that might be able to develop lower down in the minors that are going to take some more time. So it's definitely nice to see that there for the Wild. But this was a great game. It was a 3-2 to two win for the Minnesota Wild. Capo Kakinen, you're going to want to see him control his glove hand more. But once he gets that down, Wild fans, I think you definitely have a very nice set goaltender there. And you already have two pretty good guys. Staylock looked good last year if you guys really stepped up. And now you got Talbot there. So I think everything's good in bunches and peaches and everything's nice out there in the Minnesota land and the Ducks the defense came together more they played a better game yesterday they need to continue to bring that defense together as a whole and play a much tighter game and not leave guys open in front of Miller or in front of Gibson I think putting Miller in definitely kind of helped the defense to be able to get them more honed in because when you have your backup goaltender no matter how good he is and Miller's a good one you're going to play up try to play up in front of them because you know you don't have your starting bull in the net that game but everybody, this has been the reaction to the Wild versus Ducks games. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, please like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell. It really helps. This has been Sports Mag News. I'm Joe Boric. Enjoy the hockey, everybody, and peace out.